friends, fellow beer geeks. I am Wes, the Craft Beer Geek, and tonight I have another beer for you. This is a beer from Montreal, Canada, from Brasserie du, du, du Decile. It's a sort of a Belgian-style brewery. I've heard some of their beers before. I've actually heard of this beer before. I don't think I've had this one before. So I thought I would pick this one up, give it a try, and let you know what I thought of it. It's a Belgian-style brown ale. comes in at 10.5% alcohol by volume and it is sold in these 11 and a half ounce bottles. I believe that's 330 milliliters. And this bottle cost me $4.99. That gives you a bit of an idea on this beer. So let's go ahead and get it uh, cracked open into a glass and uh, see what it's all about. I got a Chimay glass here, so I think that'd be an appropriate glass for this. And it looks like it's a twist off, but I'm not really sure here. It is a twist off, which is odd for a craft beer, but that's how they did it. Okay, so this pours out sort of a murky, medium brown color. Had a small head on it as, as it was being poured, but it is uh, dissipating pretty rapidly, as you'd expect with something uh, that's 10.5% alcohol. Uh, let's see what the aroma on this one is like. Definitely get a very sweet, fruity, um, almost like a peach nectar sort of flavor or sort of aroma on this one. Peaches, maybe plums, uh, sort of in that in that vein. As I said, very sweet smelling, very fruity, very aromatic, very pleasing. A little bit of vinegar, uh, just a hint. So I'm ready to go ahead and give this a taste and let you know what I think. Cheers. Yeah, definitely a, a heavy mouthfeel, uh, very thick, very sweet, very malty, um, and the fruit does come through in the flavor as well. I'm still getting a lot of uh, almost like a peach nectar or a plum sort of uh, flavor to it. There isn't any kind of off-putting um, alcohol burn or bite to it. Really nice, not something you're going to chug, you know, you wouldn't want to chug this at all. But it's a nice sipping beer. Uh, alcohol is well hidden here. Really tasty, really fruity. As I get into this more, I'm getting some uh, almost molasses, brown sugar sort of flavors to it. I'm not sure if I'm reading the date code on this correctly, but it looks like this is possibly a bottle from uh, January of 2010, maybe. No, I'm not sure. All right, so I've done a bit of research on these uh, these uh, do DCL uh, bottles, and the the U.S. bottles have zero through nine um, twice on the side of the bottle, and then notches cut out. And this one happens to be the first batch. The first number is a, a one, and the second number is a zero. So that's ten, and supposedly that refers to the batch number. So this is batch number ten, I guess. And I'm thinking maybe since this beer was first brewed in 2001 and is brewed once a year that maybe this is from 2011. Uh, that would make sense to me. Uh, that's, that's the closest I can come to it. Uh, this definitely has a very smooth drinkable flavor. It definitely has some age on it, I would say. Uh, really nice drinking beer. This is something you want to let warm up and, and just savor and enjoy over time. Let the flavors come out in it. So I think I'm ready to go ahead and wrap up this review, give my final thoughts, and uh, go enjoy the rest of this beer. Yeah, really good beer, really interesting beer. Rigor Mortis from Brasserie du DCL out of Montreal. A really interesting Belgian brown ale, quadruple. Uh, really definitely got some of those sort of stone fruit flavors, peaches, plums, uh, stuff like that. Uh, some brown sugar in there, a, a little bit of spiciness, uh, not too much. Um, just really nice and drinkable and enjoyable. So with that being said, I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10. Uh, really interesting if you like if you like a sweeter, heavier, stronger Belgian ale. Uh, this is definitely a, a good one. You know, it's, it's funny, Canada has some great Belgian style beers and this is definitely one of them and I'm Thoroughly enjoying it. Definitely recommend uh, you give it a try if you can get a chance. Should be pretty easy to find here in the States anyway. 
So I want to thank you for watching another episode of the Craft Beer Geek. If you like this review, you can find uh, lots more over at craftbeergeek.com. Thank you for checking that out, and uh, I'll leave you with this. Please drink responsibly, and remember, I don't drink bad beers. You shouldn't either. See you next time. Cheers.